guys welcome back um so this video as you can see by the title is my collection and storage video this has been requested so many times um and i thank you everyone that did request it and have been patient with me as i organized everything sorta um so if you follow me on instagram you know that i recently got a new cube thank you mommy and so that allowed me to reorganize and get everything up on the vanity because I had stuff in my drawer that I forgot that I had that I hadn't used and I really wanted to make more use of and I'm the kind of person that if I'm not using something I get rid of it I pass it on to someone else that I can bless but everything in that drawer I wanted to use <laughs> so now the only thing in that drawer is just lashes and back backups of products that I really really like um, I'm not going to go through a whole disclaimer that everybody puts on these videos because, you know, we're all grown. And if this is not the kind of video that you don't want to see, then get to step in. Um, but what I will say is that my collection is very eclectic. You have high end, middle end, low end, whatever, independent brands, drugstore, beauty supply store, dollar store, um, Macy's, Lorna Taylor's, Nostrum, whatever you want to call it. I have a variety, a plethora of products and everything that I have right now, I love it all. I use it all. I've used it all. Um, I don't, I try not to bash products. I try not to bash companies. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you which companies, you know, had me breaking now or going blind or something like that. So if you want to see finally <laughs> my updated makeup collection and storage video then keep watching um if you want to see a breakdown of certain things like i started to do last year breaking down like all my mac lipsticks and all my mac blushes and all, all my nyx eyeshadows just link down below link just comment down below on what you would like to see broken down and i will get those videos out for you um yeah so let's get to it so over here on this side, this is the newest cube that has been added. And up top, I keep all of my uh, palettes. I believe this is like 90% of all my palettes. Um, over here, I have all my Coastal Scents palettes. All of their little palettes that they had, like the Winterberry palette and the Think Pink. I took those out of those tiny ones. And I got a couple of these um, bigger palettes that hold 28 hot pots. And I stuck them all in there. So I've got one, two, three, four of those. And then back there, I have some BH Cosmetics palettes, like the 120s. I think I have three of those, and then I have like 388 palettes. And up top, I keep my NYX Spring Fling palette and my Too Faced uh, Love Sweet Love palette. Over here, I have the Smoky palette from Coastal Scents. And then back here are three are two I'm sorry two makeup forever palettes one is blush one is eyeshadow and then behind that I believe is my beach cosmetics party girl palette then I have a Clinique holiday palette and this has eyeshadows blush and lip products these are all my MAC palettes I believe three are eyeshadows and three are blush here I have all my Inglot palettes. So I've got two of the 10 pan, one five pan. Um, I've got one three pan and two quads down there. <laughs> Over here I've got my Naked One, Naked Two, and my Naked Basics. I have a NYX. This is the Smoky Look Collection. This was one of those that was in the drawer that I always used until I put it in the drawer and then it was shown no love the makeup forever smoky palette then we get into urban more urban TK palettes here and here um, these are Kat Von D palettes I love her eyeshadows there my son drew me a picture okay um, they are amazing uh, more urban DK palettes I believe this is the roller girl and summer of love then over here I have one palette um, from Mark by Avon. This is my Sephora Artiste palette. This is a Smashbox palette, which is a good palette for like everyday neutral kind of looks. Then I have a Sephora Pantone Universe palette and then my Wonder Woman uh, eyeshadow quad. It's the purple one. Now I will say that this side, this is all eyes. All of this right here is eyes with the exception of this one drawer right here. But all of this and in here are eyes. 
into the first drawer. This is all my single shadows. Um, I want to say lower end, mid end, kind of like your drugstore products. So I've got one, two, two elf quads. I have a random Lorac palette down there. Then I have a, um, a lot of Ulta shadows in the back. Then over there I've got Wet n Wild, some e.l.f., all of the L'Oreal, what do you call those things, Infallibles, all of my NYX eyeshadow singles, and then more NYX over here. These are all Jordana. This is, I believe, Sephora. Yep. A uh, little Smashbox quad, which is so cute. I got a couple of Essence eyeshadows and the rest are over here. These are from Lisi Cosmetics. This is um, an e.l.f. shadow. And then these two over here are also um, from Lisi Cosmetics. Drawer number two is also single shadows, but I guess higher end, if you will. So I'm gonna try to make sure this doesn't fall out. So over here I have Estee Lauder. I have a couple of YSL um, quads, Estee Lauder singles, some NARS duos, um, an Estee Lauder, not an Estee Lauder, a YSL single, a Dior single, another Dior single over here. These are Smashbox. I have a lot of Smashbox shadows back there. Then up here I've got some Sugar Pill singles. I have one random Illamasqua eyeshadow. Uh, Christian Dior. Let's see if I can move that there. Then these are all MAC shadows that have not been depotted. Either they're cream, like the extra dimension shadows. And I just like the uh, I like the unique packaging on some of the special ones. So I won't depot those. Then over here you've got all my rock and republic eyeshadows going to the back then you have all of my urban decay eyeshadow singles pull this out a little more <laughs> and pray that it does not fall so here i've got a buxom eyeshadow palette and then all of these under there back there and under there those are all mac quads and then under these two um uh, urban decay shadows i have all mac like mineralized and Pro, not pro, the um, long-lasting, you know, thingamadoozits. That's there. Okay, come on, close for me. Work with me, baby. Work with mommy. Next begins my pigments. If you know me, you know I love pigments. Okay, you know what? Let's take this drawer out. So, before I trip over a wire, I have all my NYX eyeshadow pigments too sleek these are nyc all of this right here is bitch slap cosmetics this is from queen of color all of this <laughs> is um no i'm sorry this right here is mac this is that uh i don't know what it's called bare minerals these are from makeup forever these right here these four right here are sugar pill these are occ and these are inglot all of these <laughs> are from Jessie's Girl. Then I've got four from Kat Von D and four full-size MAC pigments. And I say full-size because I have a lot of their uh, samples. So this is my next pigment drawer. And as you can see, I have a lot of <laughs> Glamour Doll Eye pigments. Um, I love... I love Glamour Doll eyeshadows. They are so awesome. I love when she comes out with the new and limited edition ones. The of the months are the bomb because you just never know what you're going to get. So all of this is Glamour Doll eyes. Back here is a company called Bear, not Bear, uh, what's it called? The Body Needs. And they sell a lot of MAC samples. So before you go to MAC and you want to try something, I would say look on their site because you can get a sample of it. Like over here, this is a MAC pigment called Aurora. And I wanted to try it, but I wasn't sure. So I just went there and I got a sample and I love it. Um, not sure if I'm going to buy it in full because with these little things, you really don't use it up a lot. So that's why I love those. Um, Ebony did a review for them. 
like them don't use them too much but i do use them and i love them when i use them fair cosmetics as well these are a lot of independent brands and i'm all for the independent companies i love them la femme got some coastal scents in here um la splash this i believe is an ulta pigment and a lot of these here that you see that don't have a sticker on them, these are MAC samples. So this is like teal. And this one is magenta madness. These over here with the blacks, these are coastal scents. And that is it. Last drawer of that clear cube has all my cream bases and cream shadows. So these are all MAC paint pots. These two back here, I believe, are... Um, Stila, these right here, more MAC paint pots. All of these are Make Up Forever Aqua Creams. And then I've got two Paint 6 by MAC. I have all, and I repeat, all <laughs> of the Maybelline, what do they call it? Color tattoos, the originals, and all three of the limited edition ones that they have come out with thus far. I have all of them. I love them if you don't want to go and spend money on these mac paint pots or these aqua creams go for these they're eyeshadows and they can be used as bases i love them so i have two of the mac uh color base i have a fluid line by mac i detest mac fluid lines but this one was just so pretty i have two of the smashbox cream eyeshadows i have down here like a revlon cream shadow palette Elise color cream eyeshadow it's just so pretty excuse my nails <laughs> and then over here I have all of my Inglot cream liners and then a Sephora one and I have two of the Ruby Kisses um, what do you call it? HD gel liners they work great but seeing as how I have enough hair I will not be replacing those <laughs> moving on over here up top i just have this container that has a lot of my mascaras my eyebrow pencil this is a tart mascara scissors and majority of everything in here are glitter liners and uh yeah mostly glitter liners brow tools and just a lot of my mascaras as well the ones i'm currently using i keep some perfumes here and my uh, air piece for my phone here. So first drawer has some of the long pencils that I own. These are all eyeliners. So I've got Wet n Wild. I've got some um, War Paint Beauty, Matte Cosmetics, Jordana, Smashbox, Milani, Stila, Mark by Avon, um, Avon, and Ruby Kisses. And. Ooh let go here are some of my smaller uh, palettes so I've got two face palettes here I got NYX palettes right here and then a Milani one I want this in a giveaway from Milani yay next up are some of my other palettes these are mostly drugstore palettes except for my sugar pill palette so I have two of the sugar pill palettes some random single cover girl shadows I have a couple of the wet n wild trios I had more but I gave them I gave away the ones that I really was not using so yeah two I think I have two of the Rimmels here two of the NYC duos and the other wet n wild ones in the back and <laughs> more palettes and more single cover girl eyeshadows that my girl Angie sent me um, the Wet n Wild 8 pans. I had all of them, but I, again, I got rid of the ones that I really weren't, was not using. And then the Project Runway. These are from the first edition, the first sets that they came out with. I love those. The newest set, I, I couldn't stand them. This drawer, <laughs> I just could not find anywhere else to put these blushes. So I have some Makeup Forever cream blushes, an e.l.f. cream blush, a NARS multiple, a Physician's Formula blush, all my Milani baked blushes. I have three Too Faced um, Lockdown cream shadows and then a Smashbox. Is this Smashbox? Yes, yeah, Smashbox cream um, blush. Uh, phone and tablet. Let me move you. <laughs> 
over here are more cream bases and these are basically my NYX pencils, uh, Sephora Jumbo pencils, a not Avon, Ruby Kisses, and these are all my depotted NYX pencils or D, D, D pencils, however you say it. Next are, okay, this is a random drawer. So I've got my MAC cream bases here as well, the ones in the palettes. I've got some of the Sephora Jumbo Cold Pencils here. I've got four of them. This is um, a Lisi Cosmetics Gel Liner. And I have six of NYX Glitters. And then these are the Makeup Forever Aqua Creams that I have samples for. Then I have a Revlon Cream Color Quad down there. And that's for my daughter <laughs> when she wants to play in her makeup. She comes and gets that one to use as her base. So I need to keep that one on top for her. Bottom drawer is glitter. Yes, I love glitter. So these are all my Hobby Lobby glitter stacks. Got this from Wet n Wild from the Halloween collection. Got some Wet n Wild, what are these called? Mega Sparkle confetti thingies. Um, Coastal Scents. I think this is an Urban Decay. Yep, Urban Decay. Coastal Scents, and then this is nail art. You can use on your nails, but I love to use them on the face. Over here are the rest of my eye pencils. Majority of them are from NYX. The rest are from MAC, Urban Decay, um, Avon, CoverGirl, Milani, Clinique, Jordana, uh, did I forget anybody? Sephora, Makeup Forever. Yeah, y'all get the point. It's it's a lot in there. But again, majority of them are from NYX because I actually have really all of NYX's uh, pencils. Y'all don't know. I love me some NYX. NYX are my like oddly shaped single eyeshadows, mostly from Milani. Um, Iman Cosmetics. This is Black Radiance. The Body Shop and Ulta, Lonely Ulta, but the rest of these are all Milani baked eyeshadows. Here, these are, I've got six of the Sephora Prism shadows that they came out with, limited edition. I've got two Smashbox, one of their round thingamathingies, and this is one that you can actually use um, as eyeshadow or swirl it all together for a nice blush. And then I've got three of the Sephora eyeshadow trios. Over here, these are my 90% of the time reached for brushes. And 90% of them are from Sigma. So you've got the Sigma Miss Bunny collection here, the Sigma Make Me Crazy collection, and then this random brush I believe is from Sedona. Yeah, this is from the Sedona Lace Vortex. I love that brush. And then I have all of the Real Techniques brushes. So all of that is in there. And this, I love this brush. <laughs> I love this brush so much. This is like the bomb brush. I don't care. I, I love it so much. I have it from Sedona. And my best friend hooked me up and got me a new one from Sigma because my other one from Sigma broke. Ugh. And then down here, I have my... um. I can get it out and show you. These are all of my NYX. Was those little pearl mania things that they had? Yeah. These are all of those. And then when I got samples from like um, Coastal Sense or I got samples from Sugar Pill, I put them all in a jar. And this way I can see the color and I can just reach for it and go. So I keep that right there. Okay. Over here, the next little tower. <laughs> These are, again, brushes that I reach for the most. Um, mostly, well, 90, well, 100% of it is, no, okay, 90% of it is from uh, Sigma. The, I love the Miss Bunny set and the Precision ones. I love, love, love these. Okay, and then the random ones here is from Coastal Scent. Nope, that's Sigma 2. I know I have a Coastal Scent one. Yeah, here. Coastal Scents because I love these white blending brushes. Y'all just don't understand. Then I've got one from Too Faced. Is this Too Faced? Yeah, I've got a brush from Too Faced. 
and I've got one from e.l.f. They're dazzled ones and then I got one from Tarte and that came in the holiday collection. Yep. Our first tower and first drawer. This is my eye primer well mostly eye primer and face primer drawer. These are my eye creams, uh, samples, small versions, mini versions of primers that I love. Mostly eye primers in here and eye cream but has a lot of samples of other ones like the makeup, not makeup, I'm sorry, the Control Freak by Glamadol Eyes, Sephora Eye Primer, got a couple of samples of other face primers, my MAC, what's this, the Fast Response Eye Cream, um, Makeup Forever HD Primer, it just fit in there, so that's why that's in there. And then I have the, what's this, L'Oreal Perfecting Base, it's really good, I really like that one. Next drawer are my concealers and this is my AJ Crimson palette that I won on Instagram. I'm so happy. I really really like it. I've been using it. Oh take that brush out and yeah I actually use this one. That's like a dead on for me. I love it and I keep all my concealers in here. So I've got Elf, I've got MAC, I've got NYX, more MAC, MAC, uh, Eve Pearl, which I'm on the fence about, um, Ruby Kisses, sample of I think Kat Von D, and then Kat Von D, Kat Von D. This is a Mary Kay concealer. And then I have my brow stuff as well. So I've got my brow powder here. This is Anastasia brow powder, and I am the brunette dark brown. And then it, I, it came with this cooling eye brightener that I just never use. And this Anastasia, I guess this is the highlight for underneath. Yeah, haven't used it. The next drawer is on my face primers. <laughs> and two highlights, well, a couple of highlights. So I've got my e.l.f. primer, NYX, my Too Faced lip primer, my MAC face primer, Too Faced Primed and Poreless, my MAC uh, strobe cream. Then I've got my Touch of Light by Maybelline. You guys know... I freaking love this stuff. This stuff just, I mean, I got three of them. I got three of these bad boys. I absolutely love this stuff. It was limited edition, so unfortunately, it's not out anymore. If you can find it, that's great. Get your hands on it. I love it. I wear it with just moisturizer sometimes, and then I mix it in sometimes with my uh, foundation or tinted moisturizer. Then I've got two random things that really don't belong in here. <laughs> um, and that's it. Yep. Let's close that. And then starts the face. So this starting from here and all of this is face. So these are two highlights. They're from MAC and from Benefit Sunbeam and MAC Luster Drops. First drawer here are all my MAC blushes, a random sleek blush two Smashbox and one Urban Decay cream and this one is Wicked and then let me see can I fit you in there no you're not gonna work with me okay next drawer has <laughs> Black Radiance my MAC MSF my NYX matte bronzer two of my other MAC MSFs which I absolutely love another black radiance blush and then my rice powder from palladio and can i get you in here yes yes next drawer has all of my nyx powder blushes nyx cream blush revlon cream blush a nyx mosaic blush magnolia makeup blush lisi cosmetics one two three nars um i think one is a blush and two are um, duos. Then I have a Lisi Cosmetics. Uh, I want to say that's a bronzer down there. In here, this is from Too Faced. It was a set that came out back, I want to say, in the fall. And in here, if I can open it. Here, I basically keep all my lip balms. This does not belong in here. 
<laughs> I keep all of my lip balms. I have some random spatulas in here. But most of this is lip balms and lip treatments and chapsticks and stuff like that. Okay, let me take you out so I can close you. And y'all know I love my EOS. And I absolutely love these Tender Tones by MAC. I really wish they would bring them out again and like keep them permanent because those are amazing. My baby lips. Um, my sugar treatment thingamadoozits, Mary Kay Satin Lips Treatments. Um, okay, here is a Tarte. No, it's not Tarte. No, it is Tarte. It's a Tarte Holiday Palette. I think that was from 2010. And this as well from Sephora's. I think that was the Holiday Palette from 2010. Over here, we have my beautiful book with my babies and my holiday picture with my family. Random watch. I just took that out nail polish i have this jar here that i keep my little kabukis in then i have my ysl tinted balm hair this smells like cherry jolly ranchers it's so it's so addictive it's so good um this is sally henson lip fatuation inflation lip inflation i i mm, i found this in my jar so i said i was going to use it but I, I, I can't use that. I hate stuff that make my lips tingle. And it doesn't work. I'm sorry. I've got full lips already. Anywho, this, this Muji is five drawers. And it has all my high-end lip products. So first drawer, all my MAC lip glasses. Or, yeah, my MAC lip mixes, Inglot um, lip glosses, Giorgio Armani lip gloss, a YSL Lip Twins. Um, I don't know if they st still make that. But it's Lip Twins. And when you turn this, it has two different color lip balms in there. I have a random MAC lipstick here because it doesn't fit in the other drawers with my uh, MAC lipstick. Next drawer. Ooh. Next drawer, which I'm going to try to pull out and not drop anything. OCC Lip Tards. A Dior lip gloss, Estee Lauder lip gloss, my Rock and Republic, Too Faced, these are all Makeup Forever glosses, and these are all NARS glosses, and two from Coach, and I have two from Estee Lauder here, and I think the other two are in there. They came in a set. Next are, these are the first draw of my MAC lipsticks. I can open drawer number two has my MAC lipsticks in it and then two of their palettes this was the fall and that was the spring they're called the trend palettes and they're nice I, I really like them they're great especially for travel and in your kit and then here I've got an Inglot trio palette two Smashbox lipsticks all of these are makeup forever lipsticks two Inglot lipsticks two YSL here. I have another YSL here. One Dior. I think this is Estee Lauder. And two NARS. And three Guerlain. I can never pronounce that. Three Guerlain lipsticks. Love all of those. Let's move these over. So top drawer. These are my Ben Nye powders. I have three more um I actually have them in my this is sienna banana topaz and cameo if you use the banana and you find that might be a little too yellow for you try the cameo that should work perfectly i also have the olive sands i have the nutmeg and i forgot the other one see so here starts my face powder so i've got three rock and republic face powders a mac studio fix foundation a tart bronzer and this smells like chocolate guys i mean it's called chocolate seal Sole, sole but it smells like chocolate i it's so bad to put this on your face and you're walking around like who is baking everywhere i go sephora bronzer a makeup forever bronzer and then a ruby kisses bronzer um that is superb for contouring along with the cover girl powder then i have a tart clay smooth operator powder as well Next, I have NYC. These are two Wet n Wild blushes. Heart Candy Fox in the box. I have four e.l.f. blushes here. 
and then a Tarte blush and a Jordana blush. Those are blushes. Then over here are my highlights. And these are two MAC um, Extra Dimensions. One is superb and one is Whisper of Guilt. Like if they ever come out with these guys and you can get your hands on it, get Whisper of Guilt. That's like on every complexion. It's amazing. Too Faced Candlelight um, Highlight. Elf Blush and Gotta Glow, which is an awesome on dead spot. Great inexpensive dupe for NARS Albatross. And then here I have NARS Duo, Highlight Duo called Hungry Heart. And it looks like that. I love that. And it smells good. I love to open it and smell it. <laughs> then I have the L'Oreal Light Catcher, which is um, good to put above your, like on the tops of your cheeks. It's also nice to dust it all over yourself in the summer. And then I have Urban Decay's Sin. Next drawer begins the bronzers, and I have a travel size of Nars Laguna, um, Jordana blush, um, blush or bronzer, it's called bronze. Ruby Kisses All Over Glow, Physicians Formula Bronzer, a Sephora one, I love the pattern on this, and it's the all over powder. <laughs> then I have a MAC, um, it's iridescent powder, and this one is golden bronze. I have another one. I gotta look. I swear I have more makeup somewhere and I think it's all in my kit and I need to like take it out. <laughs> I have a Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Power Powder and this is Starlight Bronze. And I have two of the Elf Bronzers. This is Golden and that one is Warm. So come on. Be nice to mommy. And finally for bronzers I have two of the where is it <laughs> okay i have two of the milani baked bronzers which you know what i'm a little ocd if one is down they both have to be down i have a mac bronzer from the sailor collection i have a, another mac uh msf thingamadoos it and this one is gold deposit I have a Milani, another Milani Illuminating Face Powder, which I also got in a giveaway. Then I have a Physician's Formula Bronzer. And then the Elf Body Glow, which is really a dupe for the Iridescent Powder by MAC. So if you want to get that powder by MAC, get the one by Elf. Uh, here um, is face and some random things. So I got the Tarte Holiday Collection back here. Um, nothing's in it except for the the eyeshadow palette everything else I've already put away with everything else back here I've got some Avon uh, make eye makeup remover and I've got a NARS Laguna I have my holy grail something fell something fell I have my Mary Kay tinted moisturizers which I have like two backups in my drawer I have two open I have two backups I'm crazy I know I have my um, Chanel foundation I have my rock and Republic tinted moisturizer my urban decay naked skin foundation I have L'Oreal true match Lumi and L'Oreal true match I have the Revlon photo ready Maybelline fit me um, this is Smashbox, Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. <laughs> I have some sample foundations and tinted moisturizers here as well as here. Um, I have my hand sanitizer, hand cream, random perfume, like why is that here? Uh, Wet n Wild Eye Makeup Remover, Sephora Supreme Cleansing Foam, which should probably be in the bathroom. Another Wet n Wild, and I got like two more in the drawer. Y'all don't know, I'm just obsessed with those things. And then brush cleaners. Ooh. I have my Neutrogena. When you're doing your makeup and you make boo-boos and things like that. Over here, setting sprays. Urban Decay's Chill. Urban Decay's All Nighter. MAC Fix, Fix Plus. My MAC Moisture Cream. And this really surprised me because it is very, very perfumed. And yet it did not bother my skin. My Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. My MAC Mixing Medium, which is great for pigments and everything to make them easier to apply. You can apply them as cream, use it for liner, helps it be more, you know, potent when you wear it. Yeah, travel all nighter. 
and business card. <laughs> top drawer, I have all, oops, top drawer, I have all of my other brushes in. I use all my brushes, don't get it twisted. I can be very lazy when those are not clean. I will sure enough come in here and grab brushes. Majority of next is my first lip gloss drawer. And you've got Tarte in the back. You've got the NYX lip pencils in the middle. Um, one Milani pencil. In the back is um, Dior lip gloss. Uh, Benefit lip gloss. Buxom NYX matte creams. A L'Oreal. Um, then you've got more NYX. This is all NYX. <laughs> Revlon. These are all Revlon. Sephora. And underneath is more Sephora and I think that's Maybelline. Next is not, you know, put in any order because they're the odd shaped stuff. So you've got Squeezy and I've got the Milani ones that, although I love them, they're a pain to try to store. CoverGirl, Ruby Kisses, um, Payless. So I've got all my Wet n Wild. I've got Maybelline. I don't have too many Maybelline here because I depotted all my other Maybelline lipsticks. So Wet n Wild, these are what's left over of my Maybelline. L'Oreal, L'Oreal, these are the Whispers, these are the new Revlon ones. One Lonely <laughs> Rimmel by Kate, and it, she's lonely because I depotted all of my other Rimmel lipsticks and I'll show you in the next drawer. My um, Lime Crime lipsticks, which are amazing. K or all of these right here. This is Bitch Lab Cosmetics. Um, Bitch Lab. This is a Inglot lip cream that my hubby got me. And then these are all Bitch Lab and Queen of Color Cosmetics. These right here are all my Revlon lipsticks, all my Revlon lip butters, my L'Oreal um, balm, and this is. Uh, color sensation I think this is the vivid it's like my one lonely vivid she needs a friend and the final drawer guys <laughs> the final drawer all my depotted Maybelline covergirl and Rimmel lipsticks are here then I have some Revlon uh, just bitten kisses thingies two NARS lip pencils I've got two of the Coastal Scents lip quads, and then I have two of the Smashbox lip trios. Um, CoverGirl lip pencil, Tarte lip pencil, CoverGirl flash, Bast, flash, flash, oh, Apple Jacks, Blast flip stick. I can't talk. I've got three of those. Got some Avon lipsticks here, Milani's up here. Underneath are NYX, so this all this is all NYX here. Let's move this. I have an Estee Lauder lip palette. Can I open it? Can I open it? I don't think I can open it with one hand. Okay, I can't open it with one hand, but basically, it's, that's what it looks like on the inside. I have three Elf. I have one Tarte. Here's a random Dior sample that should be there, and two Too Faced lipsticks that I absolutely love.